This is the best or worst podcast. And now, here are your hosts, Koji Steven Sakai and M. Martin Mapoma. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Koji. And this is Martin. And we're in episode number 46. And our society is so focused on celebrity, we sometimes forget that regular people lead interesting lives too. Best or worst <laughs> moments of our lives? Hosts Koji and Martin are here to let your story out. We put people on the spot. What are you going to hear? It could be funny. It could be poignant. It could be sad. You'll know when we know. Best or Worst is a twice weekly podcast. On Tuesdays, we get to know our guests. Woo-hoo! And on Thursdays, we find out their best or worst moment. So today, I'm super, super excited to have, our, uh, to have one of my friends, an actor, writer, director, producer. Um, <laughs> All the above. All of the above. Uh, Stephen Chan, here. How, are you? how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just uh, can't do much lately, so I'm just kind of sitting at home and uh, trying to like you know make the best of it. You know. Yeah. Now, are you? Uh, you're, and you were originally from Michigan, right? Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. From Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. What? Detroit. What? Yeah. Motor City. Are you, <laughs> Motor are you City. Eight, are you from Eight Mile? <laughs> uh, I'm very familiar with Eight Mile. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> That's cool. And That's what, cool. And then you came out here to be an actor, though, right? That was like your original goal when you first came out here. Yes, um, I, I, I actually went through all the whole education process. You know, like you know, I graduated high school, didn't know what to do, so I went to college, um, graduated college, worked um, at an advertising agency, and um, I started uh, modeling in Detroit. And then from there, I moved to New York, and then I studied theater in New York. And then um, fast forward about 10 years, I moved out to L.A. to pursue acting further because, you know, you can't call yourself an actor without being in L.A., you know. Damn right. Damn right. Right, right. <laughs> I know so that from, feeling. <laughs> so from there, I started uh, producing and then I started writing. And then I recently directed my first uh, uh, project. Great. Awesome. Yeah. And what made you transition from being an actor to a, you know, to being a, a creator? Um, because I saw a lack of representation for for the Asian community, so I just kind of decided to to create my own stuff. Um, well, for I'm not gonna lie, originally it was like you know, create my own stuff to put myself in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, how it always works out. <laughs> That's how it always works. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, you know, that was the original plan. And then I, I did that. But then I was like, you know what, there's, I, I have this platform, and I can actually pull other people in, in my community to, to inc- incorporate them and, and give them a voice and give them um, visibility as well. So that's how that process uh, began. Cool. Oh, how long have you been out here? Uh, 10 years. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, 10 years. June was... Uh, actually no june just past june was 11 years wow oh wow cool yeah first week of june uh, i think it was june june 6th fifth or sixth that I, I came out here i still remember it cool. did you work a lot in new uh, york um i did all right I, I did all right in new york um you know did I was not a supermodel but you know it, it, it paid the bills <laughs> yeah who were you with when you were out there uh i was with this small agency at first called renegade um, sure. And and then I was with uh, Ford for 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 a little bit, and then Wilhelmina was the biggest one I was with for actually oh, okay. for the longest. Yeah. Oh, so cool. I did, yeah. yeah it, was, it was fun. It was fun while you know while I was there. It's yeah. A good time to be in you know in New York when you're when you're young and making some money. You know. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Martin Martin was in the porn industry for a really long time, so <laughs> he's familiar with all this all this stuff. Like this is this is a dream of his. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, when you do, so when did you transition to the to, to behind the scenes? <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still in that position. I'm still transitioning. Yeah, the porn the porn business is really good to me. You know, the porn <laughs> business is really good. To me. <laughs> so, did you always want to be an actor? I mean, is that something that you wanted to do when you were a kid, or was that something new or something that? Um, it kind of came later, but you know, I I always knew I was going to be performing in some way some somehow um but i just didn't know it was going to be acting because you know gr- coming up uh, junior high high school you know when you're 
uh, when you have to do the oral reports, stand up in front of the class and present your, your book report or whatever report you're, you're doing, um, that was completely, you know, it's, it's so nerve wracking. You know, it's so, so much stress when you're at that age, um, trying to find yourself, trying to be comfortable with yourself. So I never thought I would uh, be in front of people performing like, like that, you know, uh, reciting lines, delivering lines. Um, at that time, it was for me, it was sports. Um, What'd you play? Because uh, uh, basketball. Basketball, okay. Because you're tall. Yeah, I play basketball. Yeah, t- uh, I play basketball. I played football for a couple of years, and then the kids started getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, like, no, I'm going to get hurt if I continue this. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop that. And then, you know, I ran track for a couple of years. So um, I was just always performing, and then um, I graduated went to college and uh just kept kind of coming back you know um that i that i could perform in front of people and um and when i was working at the ad agency uh, i went and and met a photographer and um the photographer said hey you know you work at this ad agency i know a model that and that works at the agency as well and uh he described her and i i've seen her i've seen her around before and then one day i just went and looked for her and I struck up a conversation and we became friends. And then one day uh, she called me and uh, right before lunch and said, Hey, you know, I'm going into my agency. Um, just come with me, you know? And I went in and she didn't tell me that not only was she going into the agency and she was going to introduce me to her agent, but it was, she was going for an audition. It was like a, for a local commercial. And then uh, they, they, they pulled me in to the audition. I booked it. <clears throat> she didn't i felt really bad because i didn't know how that stuff works you know <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> oh my God. yeah so she's like i called her i said hey i booked it what about you she's like no i didn't and i'm like oh damn i'm so sorry i, I, I just i didn't know what to say <laughs> yeah <laughs> and she's like no no you know it's cool like that's how it works you know like you know yeah so yeah so then i went to book my next uh nine audition straight so nine uh, the, yeah wow and, uh, so I was like, you know, this might be something I might want to look into, you know, like I'm booking on, the, you know, this straight nine. And then like at my 10th audition, I, you know, I, I gave it a few days and I called my agent and said, Hey, you know, what happened with that audition? And they said, well, I went with somebody else. I'm like, what, what do you mean? What do <laughs> you mean? No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's how, that's how my journey started um, with this, uh, this, yeah, this, that, that's how it started. But with that one person, um, and unfortunately, I don't keep in touch with her anymore. So uh, that's how, how everything started with me being in the industry. And um, uh, that's, yeah, go ahead, Martin. Sorry. No, go ahead. I was just going to ask was, you. Know, was... Go ahead. Go ahead. Man, this is like we're like a romantic co- comedy couple or something. Go ahead. <laughs> I, was, I was just taking a deep breath. I wasn't going to say anything. Oh, okay. Uh, well, growing up in Detroit, were there a lot of Asian Americans or were you like the only one? Oh, how was that like? Um, it's the, the spread out, it's very spread out. And um, I was in my class, I think there was like what, two, 200 some people graduating. Okay. And I was one of, I was one of five. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So wow. not, not too many. Yeah. Yeah. So it, you know, I grew up in, in Detroit, um, downtown Detroit uh, until, we were probably, I was probably 11 or 12 and then we moved to the suburbs. So in downtown Detroit, it was a predominantly um, African-American um, uh, elementary school. Uh, Ooh, that, that must that, be tough. Actually, it, was, it wasn't bad. Um, you know, because that, that school um, went from K, uh, kindergarten all the way through eighth grade. So junior high and, junior high and elementary were in, were in the same um, building. And then you went up to your respective high schools at uh, ninth grade, ninth, ninth through twelve. And um, we moved when I was, I just started seventh grade. Um, so it was um, predominantly black or African American, sorry. And then over you can say, the weekend. You can say black, it's not a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it's, it's, say, I can say that. <laughs> no, uh, there's yeah, there's nothing wrong with saying black. All right, all right, all right. Nothing okay. wrong. Yeah, so I, I, from, and I, I understand. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so I, I went from predominantly uh, black class 
African American. We, yeah, okay. <laughs> African American. I'm sorry. Yeah, I yeah, you took me for that one. I did. I did. I was like, eh. so, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, after that that weekend, we moved to the suburbs, and then uh, and that Monday, I started school in the predominantly white uh, uh, class. So I was like, you were just polar opposites, you know. And um, like I said, I was one of five Asian um, Asians in that school. What was that so, like? Was it different in a lot of ways? I can imagine. Yeah, just trying to find your way, trying to fit in, you know. Because um, again, at, at that age, you, you know, you're trying to fit in, you're trying to find yeah. yourself, and try to more so blend. Um, and now you're just like, you know, hey, I, I am, I am who I am, and you know, I'm proud of it. But at the time, you're just like, you know, I'm just trying to figure out like wh- where do I fit in. I think that's the main thing with kids. Uh, it's like why am I different, you know? Yeah. So wait, mm-hmm. let me ask you this. The question I always ask Asians from not from Hawaii or Southern California or Northern <laughs> California is this. I always, are you the kind of Asian in high school? I mean, it, it's not a, I'm not judging. It's not a judgy thing. It's more but of it a is. question. It, uh, no, because I mean, everyone's different, but like some Asians, when there are like only a few Asians, they hung out with the other Asian people or some Asians were like, I don't want anything to do with these other Asian people uh, in their class. What, which one, which side were you on on that, that question? Yeah, it's a good you know, question. You, good uh, question. But the thing is that, um, I'm cool with everybody. So I was okay. like, you know, I'll hang out with them and I'll hang out with like, you know, other people, everybody else, you know, okay. so it wasn't yeah. like, you know, Oh no, you're not like me. So I'm not going to hang out with you or you're like me. I'm not going to hang out with you. So, yeah. it was, you know, I was, I mean, that's like, uh, cause I went to, I went to San Marino here and it was all Asian. And I remember the first time I was in, in a meeting in uh, Hollywood where like, there's another Asian person. And I grew up in a, I grew up where like Asian people were my, like, we were like compadres. We were on the same team. But because there were so few of us, I remember that like his, his thing was he didn't want to be seen with me because then it would, everyone would think that he's trying to be Asian and he didn't want to be seen that. I, I remember being like really taken aback by that because I'd never had that situation. Whereas when I saw him, I thought we're allies. But then when he mm-hmm. looked at me, he thought, no, 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 I don't want anything to do with this guy. Like, cause the more I'm seen around. Wow. Him, so, so it's kind of an interesting, I mean, but now it's different. It's a little bit, it's different now in the industry because there's a lot more Asian Americans. Do you still see, do you still see that guy around at all? Yeah, yeah, he, he he's a he's a pretty big producer. Um, and we, are, you guys, I, are you guys friends? Yeah, we're friends. But it's just now it's wow. like, now it's different. Now it's like a lot. I mean, I understand back then. I mean, I, I, for example, when I went to USC, I was the only person in my program that was Asian American. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Asian American. There were Asian people, but I was the only Asian American in my program. So I mean, it, it, it was like very you know it was very different to be Asian. I understand how it, how it would, it would be. But um, but I think we're, we're at that point in the show where we're gonna move on. Um, so moving on. So why don't you, Sorry. uh, don't you have something to talk about? Oh no, that's me. I'm going to talk about it. Oh, we did this pre-show and I messed up. All right. So we, wow, that never <laughs> so, so, so today we're asking all our, our audience to text one friend about this show and tell them about the show no. and tell them to come to our website, best or worst pod.com or go on any of the pod, uh, podcast networks and find our show and tell them why you like the show, get them to subscribe. It'd be really helpful. If everyone yes, could it would. text one person, it would be really, really awesome. Just, that's, just one text. Check just out Best for Podcast. Yeah. Oh, and you know, I think this is also an opportunity, Cody. We might as well bring up the survey as well again. No, no, no we're going to do, do next episode, dude. Ah, <laughs> God, okay. All right. Well, Never thank mind. you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Martin. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.